Hello and welcome. My name is Fernanda and I'm the PM of Looker System Activity here at Google Cloud. Today, I would like to share with you some insights about how to analyze your analytics with Looker System Activity. For our agenda, I'm going to start by explaining a bit about what System Activity is and then to deep dive into how System Activity Analytics can help you solve most of the questions around performance and platform usage. Managing data platforms can be really challenging. If you're an administrator, then most probably one of your goals is to make sure users have the best data experience possible. And that means quality content that can be displayed or consumed fast and with no errors. So it is critical then to understand topics like system performance, cost control, and user adoption. Some questions you may ask on a regular basis are, is the platform healthy, available and accessible when needed? How are users currently utilizing Looker? Do they have the right access to the data that they need? What type of content is being consumed by whom and when? Are users having any performance issues or how can we solve them? Um, and lastly, what is the necessary what is necessary to change to improve user adoption. System Activity is a great resource for any platform administrator. System Activity is a feature inside Looker that provides access to usage and performance information of your Looker instance via a set of pre-built dashboards and explorers for ad hoc queries. This set of dashboards and explorers allow you to identify opportunities for increasing efficiency and optimizing performance, find and troubleshoot performance issues, see when and how different content is being used and by whom, and overall, to understand user engagement in order to support product usage and drive adoption. System activity is modeled automatically and dashboards can be accessed via the Looker's admin menu. As with any other dashboards, you can download, schedule, or drill down into system activity metrics and elements. Besides the five pre-built dashboards, system activity comes with 18 different explorers. So the best part is that you can create your own dashboards to monitor and analyze your Looker instance according to your preferences and needs. In recent releases, Several of the explorers, like User Explorer, Content Usage, History, have been enhanced to include more metrics and dimensions, better definitions and grouping. Plus, we added quick starts. By clicking on one of these quick starts analysis tiles, Looker will show you a query with fields pre-selected and sorted to answer some of the most common questions you may have. For example, from the Dashboard Explorer, you can quickly answer uh, any of the following questions using the previous queries. Which dashboard use multiple explorers? Which dashboards have um, short auto-refresh intervals? And how many dashboards are set to run on load? System activity comes in two flavors, standard and elite. Standard comes in every Looker instance and includes all of the dashboards and explorers that I just mentioned. Elite system activity augments these standard capabilities with longer data retention and higher performance to enable you to perform more complex and faster analytics on your system activity data. For troubleshooting or for finding opportunities to enhance performance, system activity has two useful dashboards that will help you monitoring what is happening under the hood of your Looker instance. One is the database performance dashboard and the other is the instance performance dashboard. Let's deep dive into them. The database performance dashboard is centered around understanding the volume of Looker queries and duration of such queries. This dashboard will give you an overview of key performance indicators, such as query runtime, query volumes, concurrency, and performance around PDTs. Some insights that you can uncover are 
what are the dashboards, explorers, and other type of content and sources that are currently underperforming. Are query results being accelerated by Looker Cache? Or what is the spread of queries by hour? Now, if you want to drill down on query performance or PDT's information, you're going to notice that all tiles from the da database performance dashboard are coming mainly from two sources, the History Explorer, which contains details about all query runs in the past, and second, the PDT Explorers, which include more details about PDT builds, such as time to finish builds, the connection, and model that PDT is part of. Another advantage of jumping into Explorers is that most of the dashboards will show a relatively short timeline, the last seven days or 30 days, for example, which is great for monitoring. But from the Explorer, you can totally extend that timeline to 90 days or a year, depending if you are utilizing system activity or elite system activity. The Instance Performance Dashboard is a great place to identify opportunities for increasing efficiency and optimizing performance. The Scheduler Performance Heat Map gives you an excellent overview of all the various schedules, jobs, and queries that have been executed on a given day and time. So with this map, it's easily to understand if we're planning on executing jobs in a uniformly distributed way, or if we have peaks hours where we are overloading the instance. Scheduled queries and timing tend to group around certain times of days, like Fridays afternoons or Mondays before working hours. So having visibility over the scheduled queries is a great source to plan our activities in an efficient way. So what is new? In order to continue expanding on providing tools that can help platform administrators to optimize the overall performance, the system activity team is working really hard on a set of new features that I know will be more than useful for you. A couple of things that I can share with you right now are, one, we are expanding our telemetry coverage horizontally, but more importantly, in depth and collecting more granular data signals that can help you to monitor and understand in more detail what is happening in the Looker platform. Also, we are continuously enhancing System Activity Explorers with better in-app descriptions, documentation, and with quick starts that can summarize the most common performance questions that you may have. We're also working on more intelligent reports where besides providing system activity analytics for better diagnostic and troubleshooting, we're also introducing proactive recommendations in order to address potential issues before they can negatively impact the system. So stay tuned for the next releases. For closing this section, here goes a tip for you. If you're utilizing dialect, such as BigQuery, Redshift, Snowflake, a way to extend your system activity analytics is by working with some of the Looker blocks we have for these dialects. Looker blocks are pre-built pieces of code that you can leverage to accelerate your analytics. As an example, with the BigQuery block, you can monitor the overall health and performance of the BigQuery environment, providing a central hub of database administration and auditing. You can also break down queries by their individual executions patterns and job stages. So later you can reconfigure queries or table partitions, clusters to optimize the investment in BigQuery. So don't forget to take a look at the list of available blocks offers at the Looker Marketplace. In addition to helping you monitor what is happening under the hood of your Looker instance, System Activity can also provide you with insights into your user base and their usage of Looker. Understanding how users are engaging with Looker platform is important for ensuring that you are providing the best data experience possible. This includes helping your users to get the data and content they need, identifying top users 
who can support adoption initiatives and proactively address errors before users are impacted. Let's walk through how system activity can help you in each of these areas. The content activity dashboard can help you create a great user experience by providing you with information on the dashboards, looks, and explores that are being viewed and scheduled on your instance. You can use the list of all dashboards and looks that have been accessed in the last 30 days and the number of times each has been viewed, favorite or scheduled to find your most popular content. If something goes wrong with these pieces of content, people will notice. So ensuring that these dashboards and looks are highly available, performant and accurate is vital for creating a good experience for your users. Alternatively, you can also find a list of dashboards and looks that have not been accessed in the last 30 days. These are great candidates for review and potential deletion in order to keep your Looker instance from getting cluttered with unused content. Removing unused content can make it easier for users to find and navigate to the content they actually need. The User Activity Dashboard shows information about your users and their usage of your Looker instance. You will be able to see counts and percentages of user viewing data, the amount of time users are spending viewing queries, and counts and lists of the most active and inactive users. Using the User Activity Dashboard to understand how your users are engaging with the Looker platform can help you drive platform adoption. One way we have seen customers to do this is by finding ways to engage their top users in initiatives to help develop data culture and improve the user experience. The dashboard shows top users over the last seven days, but exploring from that tile and expanding that time horizon can help you identify people consistently using the platform over a longer period. These users will be great candidates to becoming ambassadors or departmental advocates that can drive data literacy and culture initiative and help others with their team's use of Looker to make data-driven decisions. On the other hand, you can also engage with people who haven't logged in recently to learn more about why they haven't been using the Looker platform. This type of user interviews can help you identify opportunities for improvement in platform usability, content, or training and enablement of resources. A quick way to lose trust is through user facing errors and broken content. Addressing issues quickly and proactively helps to build and maintain user trust in the data and content. A good way to track and troubleshoot broken dashboards and other content is to take a look at the errors and broken content dashboard. I would like to close this section sharing with you three of my favorite tips to take the most advantage of system activity. One, use alerts. Setting up conditional alerts to automatically ping you when you need to look into something is extremely useful and simple to do. You can easily set up alerts directly from the system activity dashboard by going to the tile that contains the metric that you want to monitor and click the bell. Second, explore the data. System activity dashboard can give you a great overview of what is going on across the Looker platform. But if you want to dig deeper in a particular subject or discover new insights, you can always explore from dashboards or to use Explore Quick Starts to dig into performance and usage trends. And finally, connect with users, talk with them, and I bet you will be able to add context around the behavior that you are seeing in the data. So with that, we conclude our deep dive on system activity. Thank you very much for watching and I hope it was informative. If you have more questions, 
you will find rich information about system activity in our documentation, blog, and help center pages. Or you can always reach out to me or your local representative who will be more than happy to talk to you about system activity analytics 